What is up, my Butter Biscuits? Welcome back to the fifth, I think it's the fifth episode of The Sip and Spill. I have my little co-host over here, Jelly. If you guys have hey. not checked out last week, y'all know this is my little co-host <laughs> over here. We're about to get really messy within today's episode, but I do want to let you guys know before jumping into it, we are going to be starting our own channel pretty soon. I don't have the link live, but we will get it eventually, and we're going to start our own little podcast, which yes, is going to be different than this, though, just letting oh, you guys no. know. We're going to be sitting on the couch. No, I think it's a great idea. A little bit more relaxed. I do have to let you guys know before getting into this, okay? Don't judge us too harshly. We have been drinking for how long? Like six hours. <laughs> no. You know what's so crazy is before when I would be on live, people would sit and judge the the hell out of me. I don't know if I've ever told you this, actually. I would go on live before and I would have like a 12-pack of Trulies or a 12-pack of, uh, um, not Happy Dads. I didn't drink Happy Dads and White Claws. And people would literally DM me and be like, hey, if you ever need help finding AA, one time, one Another time. Another alcoholic beverage? Yes, I do need help. <laughs> That's AB. <laughs> Another alcoholic beverage. <laughs> um, that's, I think it's normal. Like, I don't think. like For non-drinkers, though, I get it. They think I it's... do, but now that like I've been drinking for so long, it's like a case is like. Me and a person will share a case. Yeah, I don't think that's a lot, especially for six hours. Like when I was telling them about the last week, how we were talking about the whole river situation, I'm like, "You're if you're drinking for nine hours straight, you know." Yeah, we were that was vacation mode. Yeah, so when we say we've been drinking for six hours, y'all, I do have to tell you though, I'm a little bit more tipsy than last week. Actually, I wasn't. I wasn't that tipsy last week. No, I wasn't either. Yeah, we were like good, but today we've been mm -hmm. drinking, drinking. Mm -hmm. Anyways, before we get into today's hot topics, y'all, we have some thrills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on our little podcast that we're going to be creating of our own, we are going to be obviously way more personal. Obviously, here on The Sip and Spill, we do focus on pop culture, but... I just say, y'all, she's had some doozies this week when it comes down to dating apps. <laughs> it's, like, entertaining at this point. It is really... I mean, it's not. It's annoying, No, but it I think is. it's entertaining. I, think I mean... If you're on dating apps, you guys can't relate. Like, this shit is a oh fucking Oh, my mess. gosh. Yeah. And I did... Remember last week, I was like, oh, I should get on Tinder... I've been on Tinder all week. I, I made it Tinder. I think you said that while we were filming. I did. I did. And I, and said, I said, oh, I don't act like you never had Tinder. I did when I was, like, 23. So that was 10 years ago, and now I, I made a Tinder She's again. She's met every single toxic person in her life on Tinder. On Tinder, yeah. But I do have to say, my other friend has said the same thing, too. I don't want to say no names, but... Yeah, you can't, like... I, I'm not saying that I'm not optimistic. Like, I'm optimistic. Like, you never know. It's, but it's me just on like, Grindr. Me on I'm Grindr. not, like, sitting there thinking that my Prince Charming is going to message me on Tinder. No. Will it it's a pastime. It is, and then it's just like honestly, where do me and you go out so freaking much? Where I don't meet people. <gasps> Hold on, that's a lie. That's a lie. And I will put you on. Bla I will put you on blast right now. Hold on, that's a lie. We'll get back to that. But I do want to ask you guys this. And honestly, I was thinking about this all week. Is I genuinely like? It doesn't matter if you're female, male, in between, whatever. I want to know. How do you guys go out and meet people? Because my whole thing is we go out pretty much every single weekend. And look, I'm going to put her on blast right now. When we go out, she has met a good, I would say at least, I could probably name 10, you know? Me, she couldn't name one. Literally. <laughs> well, maybe you could. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could. Maybe you could. But no, nothing, could, but... No, nothing substantial. Nobody of like yes, 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 yes. But you have like we can talk about Costco, aka overalls. You know, <laughs> and the thing is, in like... we hope, in we hope, she has met more men than I have. No, literally. But I don't remember, so it doesn't count. But you still have though. Yeah, I guess. and I haven't. You mm -hmm. know, so we want to know. Well, not not we. Sorry, I'm putting words in her mouth. I want to know when you go out, how would you approach somebody? Because I think I told you guys this before, and I think I told you this before. This is probably one of my most embarrassing stories because I was so <laughs> mortified. This guy kept on insisting to buy me a drink while I was at Flux, and I was like. No, I'm with my family. I was there with my whole family. Like, oh, okay. dead ass. There was, like, a good 15 of us, right? Mm -hmm. And my aunt was like, oh, my God. Like, my auntie, my aunt. She literally was like, keep, like, no. Like, she kept on pressuring me. Go, 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 go. Because he asked me, like, three times. Mm -hmm. So, eventually, I was like, okay, let me go do it. Those of you who have been on my live, I've told this story probably, like, five times, mm -hmm. honestly. 
he bought me a drink, you know, because I was like, okay. But I didn't want to entertain the conversation because I was there with my family. And this was the first time there was so many of us there. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to entertain the conversation, but eventually I got buzzed enough to where I was like, okay, let me entertain it, right? So as soon as I sat down, he ordered me a drink. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I just have to tell you, like, you're you're so handsome. Like, you're so handsome. And that's what I said to, I said to him. You have really cute ears. <laughs> Literally, my those that came out of my mouth. Those words exactly. You have really cute ears. Oh, my gosh. Poor thing. As soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, Absolutely. where's my family? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like... Uh... But honestly, like... Wait, were you not into him or you felt uncomfortable that he was no, flirting I, on you? No, I thought he was cute. I'm just... I wasn't used to somebody... Oh, okay, okay, Like, okay. girl, he literally grabbed my hand. Like, how I grabbed yours. Mm -hmm. I, well, you guys probably can't see it, but I literally grabbed her hand like this. And I was like, what? And he was like, I just think you're really handsome. And I was like... Yeah, I would feel... I get that. I would be like... Uh, no, honestly, I was thinking, how are you seeing without your blind stick? Because he didn't have his <laughs> blind stick. I was like, you're blind and you're... <laughs> I was like, how are you? Sir, feel on me. Yeah. Feel me, feel this body. I was like, oh, he saw my energy? Like, I thought he was like Daredevil <laughs> over here. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, how does Stevie Wonder see that I'm beautiful? I was so... I actually did think that he was good looking, but I was like... Aww. I wasn't used to that. I get you. Just gotta let it loose. Anyway. Well, and the first time, actually, not the first time, but well, I guess the first time that I passed my number out to a guy in WeHo, we ended up hooking up at the park. I think I told you about this before. The park uh -uh. on the house. No, I never heard this. Girl, it was so awkward. Because you know what he told me? He said, can I take you to Walmart? For what? I don't know. We I mean, had... but you, I would have said, yeah, because you can get a lot no, of shit we at did. Walmart. We hooked up you at went the to park. Walmart? Yes. Oh. But he didn't buy me anything. We what did he need from Walmart? Nothing. We just walked around. So we hooked up at the park, whatever. You did our little thing. And then he's like, do you want to go to Walmart? And I said, okay, sure. And we go to Walmart. And I, I low-key was thinking he was going to buy me a snack, maybe a bag of chips, a, a candy. Mm -hmm. No, honestly. Socks. A drink. Yeah, fuzzy a drink. socks. Yeah. Well, because this is during the time that um, Walmart was open 24 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was a long time ago. Good. A long time ago. And as soon as we're all like walking through Walmart, I was over here thinking like, Okay, he's gonna buy me something. No, no. He's sitting there looking at the magazines, looking at People magazine and Inquire mm. and all that. Yeah, and I'm like, no. okay, what are we doing here? And then on top How of that, too. Embarrassing. He was driving. No, you wanna know what's embarrassing? Is he, <laughs> he was driving a nice ass BMW. And at the time, I didn't even have a car. So he was driving a nice. I sat in his car and I was like, oh, I didn't know he Seat warmers. <laughs> I was like, he's rich. Like, he got money. As soon as we're pulling out, you know exactly where I'm talking about. He ran over the whole center divider. The whole center divider. And you know what he did? You know what an ick that is? <laughs> no, you don't understand because he almost dodged the whole pole. The whole pole where it's like center divider here. He ran over the whole freaking thing. And do you know what he did? Oops. Ma'am. Oh, I would literally be like, oh. I was sitting there like, I was texting my homegirl. I was like, mm, this is awkward. Girl, this is my stop right yeah. here. I was like, no, you can let me out right here in the middle of the street where you hit that bump. That's where you can let me, <laughs> let me out. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's get in, down into your little your little Tinder story. Let me see my phone. Oh, y'all, we are putting it on blast right here. But honestly, at the same time, too, I feel like some people... Mm -hmm. We're not gonna... Look, we're not showing no pictures. We're not showing no messages. No. We're not, but we're just like, honestly, like... <sighs> okay, so... The thing about this... Is like <laughs> read just read it. You're not okay, putting him on ready? blast. You could read it. You're not. We're not showing his picture. <laughs> oh, you want me to read it? Hi, Angelica. You are my... Okay, I need you to consider the fact that the, everything's misspelled in this message. Hi, Angelica. You are absolutely stunning. Would love the opportunity to get to know you better. Let's grab some nachos and see where the conversation leads us. <laughs> and I'm like, the thing is, no laughing. Hold on, ho hold on. How old is he? Because I remember you telling me his age. They need to know his age. Let's grab some he's nachos. 43. 43. And you're saying, let's grab some nachos. But I do have to say, in his defense, maybe he just didn't know what to say after. Maybe he doesn't drink. I didn't I didn't look so far. Like, that was enough well, for me to Well, wouldn't, wouldn't a person say coffee or dinner oh, or yeah, yeah. who doesn't drink? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I just think he didn't know how to follow it up. <laughs> but nachos, though? I just was like, if you... We can talk about anything besides me and you, and I'll go get nachos with you. But also, we can't put them on blast, but if you guys could only see the selfies. 
Um, I'm just like at 43. Why are you taking selfies? I'm sorry. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. You should have a vacation photo to post. We're gonna be there in like two years. Mm mm. But it's still like I'll have a friend. Like even if you gotta go far, far away, take a picture of me. It's like my thing about internet dating. She knows. Okay, let me tell you guys this. She was the one that tells me. She's like, because I let her see my like, you know, dating app profile. She's like. <laughs> What's up with all your selfies? You need someone to take your picture. At least at minimum one. My thing is you need one without a hat. I just feel weird with and one. I have that's multiple not a without a hat. No, I'm not I know, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then on uh, then I'm all I'm not hat fishing out here. Y'all and, know I'm bald. No, we don't play with hat fish. And also, you need to smile with your teeth open. That's my thing. Oh, I do not have one. And you have fine teeth, so that's I know, why maybe I know, that's why but... where my judgment is wrong because I'm not saying I just feel wrong. weird being like that's not because you don't smile like that. Yeah, I don't. You don't. Smile no, like naturally. That. Even when I'm laughing, no, I don't not at smile all. like that. And so it's like, and then for girl side of things, I think you need one without makeup. That's my opinion. Ooh. And I'm asking have one a lot. With, I have one without makeup. Oh, you do? There's a filter on it. But you know, she, she, she I'm like, there's a filter on it, but yeah. No, but she actually, every single time that I've gone out with her, every single time that she's gone out without makeup, she's got hit on more than with makeup. And that's so true. But I barely started wearing makeup when we started. Like that's you not know. true. I don't wear makeup to work every. She day. was like nineteen years old, and I was doing her her makeup on like a toilet. Literally, <laughs> no, literally. Like I don't know if you remember, y'all. I think I told you guys this story. If you guys watch my makeup videos, she was like the first person that I knew that had a naked palette. She had a naked palette, and I was like, I did. I thought she was so fancy and rich. Did I was you like, really? Yes, I did. I didn't have a palette then. Did, I barely threw that palette away. Like a couple. It was literally like a, a year or two. Ago. When you guys live in so the apartment, think of how all the bacteria I had in that eyeshadow. Girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she was doing her makeup today on like FaceTime with me and she was like, how do I do this or do this? And she had a D squared, um, if you guys know D squared from Mac. <laughs> I flipped out. I was like, where'd you get that? Where did you get that? Girl, I don't be throwing my makeup And she's away. like, I bought it. I bought it. I was like, that came out over 10 years ago. <laughs> and it still had ample, ample supply on both sides. No, if y'all watch my channel, y'all know I'll wear something from, the only thing that I won't wear that's old. Mascara. Mascara yeah. and, and complexion products. Like I won't wear an old uh, foundation or concealer. Okay. That's, but How if it's an eyeshadow, blush? blush, well, typically like 12 months. Okay. But eyeshadows have 12 months too. I think for sure the mascara is the one you can tell like, okay, this is old. No, it dries out. And then yeah. on top of that too, you're going to get this thigh. Oh, girl. There was dude. another Tinder story that I thought you had had. There was, y'all, she had like a good three, and I said, we're going to talk about it this week. I was don't it care. This you want to play this voice message? No, don't okay. play, don't play the, oh, let, okay, let's just ask you guys straight up, okay? Oh, Coming, we can talk about voice messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't play it, though, because that's putting him on blast. <laughs> They're going to be like, play it. What do you guys feel about feminine voices? I have to say, obviously, as somebody who has a feminine voice, it's, look, I can't comment on it because I'm, I'm gay, and I don't mind a man who has a feminine voice, but mm -hmm. as a straight girl... Well, what the, I, okay, first of all, I met, um, I matched with somebody, they messaged me, I messaged them back, and then they sent me voice, three voice messages, and I was, first of all, I'm sorry, weird. I would love to hear people's voices, not off the bat. I only have ever sent voice messages to my friends, and I, <laughs> and they know, they know, I'll always sit there and tell them, I'm like, look, I'm editing videos all day long, every day I film and edit, film and edit, so I'm gonna send you a voice message, because I'm not gonna sit there and And text. I don't mind, because yes. I'm not working, I have my AirPod in, but... So then he well, and on top message. of that, too, I didn't just meet you three minutes 30 ago. 30 seconds ago, yeah. Yes. And then I play it, and I was like... I was like, can I just okay look we're not putting him on blast and look okay you know what I feel like is this day and age like you are just not comfortable saying anything because people are gonna take it the wrong way but the way he sounded was like well I sent it to you immediately and I was just like ma'am I didn't say anything but yeah. I said ma'am and I was like oh he and sounds then, like me. He sounds like me. <laughs> I won't even imitate his voice message. He sounds and then, like me. in addition to his, the way he sounded, the shit he was saying was so like... Wait, hold on. Remind me of what he said. I'm a little About tipsy. that he's, he owns a fashion line. Oh, and then he, yes. Yeah, and so I was like, girl, get the hell out of my messages. <laughs> like, what are you doing messaging me? But I will say, though, there's a he lot of... He was cute, though. Well... He was a little light-skinned for me, but he was cute. Well, girl. But then he had a made-up name. Like, his name was made up, clearly. I'm like, girl, get your clothing at line ass out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys feel about feminine voices? I do have to know because every single female that I, y'all, I only have girlfriends, literally. And every single girl that I know, they're turned off by a feminine voice. I do have to say, me coming from a gay man, it doesn't bother me. But because I'm gay, I guess. 
Like, it, yeah. to me, I'm just kind of like, and I'm one of those gays that I really don't, like, I would date a drag queen. I would find that fun mm. and fascinating. Like, yeah. I'm not, yeah, because there's so many gays out there that are like, mask for a mask. I only want to date masculine men. That's not me. I'm open to, you a little feminine, you whatever. Uh -huh. The only thing that I won't date is if you're a bottom only. That triggers me. Don't don't be just one thing only. Like yeah. we 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 look. We got a hole and we got a stick. Let's let's play with both. You know what I mean? Like especially we trying to be in a relationship. A relationship. Oh, oh, hook up. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, yeah. we have plenty of dating stories. Um, she's not telling one that had happened. But we to are her. getting nachos. <laughs> oh, Seven Eleven nachos, girl. Do you like Seven Eleven nachos? You think you say about Seven Eleven or like Chili's nachos? Oh, that's fancy. <laughs> They're only like $2 apart, but... <laughs> I thought it was just like nachos. I thought you were going to tell the story. I'm not trying to put you on blast, Which but one? I'm putting you on blast. I Which thought you were telling the story about, you know, somebody who, you know, kind of like ghosted you. The 41? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell the story. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love how me and her <laughs> have nicknames for every single person that we. There's it's overall Costco 41, 41 Ontario Ontario um like jeez Louise like there's six more. seven six seven married man. <laughs> Excuse Ooh, me. Can I tell the married man one? Oh my god, I'm telling you, I don't care because we don't even know his name. I don't know if you even match with him. There was this person that was on Tinder. And he literally said that he is an officer of the law. Uh-huh. He had a, a picture with his... Uniform. With his whole uniform. Yeah. And he had no face pictures. And he said that he is married, mm -hmm. but he's looking for an affair. Uh, it said LT affair, so I Googled it because I didn't know what long that term. meant. Long, ter long term. Long term affair. Yes. He no, wants a like, long term... And he you had know what LT meant? Girl, I don't be trying to find affairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was... She sent that to me and I was and like... And then he had his face in there. He oh, had, I thought I thought he didn't have his face. No, he did. The screenshot you sent me, he did oh, not I have a face. Oh, I think I scrolled down, but I've seen his face. Wait, I literally just said right now his face wasn't there. Let me see. He, I said to you. Wait, you know? he had the audacity to no, put... That's I, let me look. Well, then it's not an affair. He's in an open marriage. But he put affair in his... In his, in his, in his, well, his um... So maybe he means affair as in like relation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're not going to show you. I thought he was looking for, I thought he was looking for like the Ashton I'm Madison type of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I was like, was in the screenshot she sent me, I was like, wait, he literally is on Tinder. Of all places, I feel like in the straight community, I don't know, like you can correct me if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. I feel like in the straight community, Tinder is the most popular dating app. And I'm like, you're literally on here because I feel like your wife is going to recognize you. So that's why I'm saying, wait, I didn't know he had if his face. Went, if the wife went on there, yeah. She, oh, then they're, they're in an open relationship. Oh, okay. I see what it see, is. See, that's what you sent me. I yeah. see that, but his face is in it. But it says, 43-year-old Mex male married looking for LTR affair. Discreet. If you're interested, let's talk. But why discreet? Why would he put discreet and then put his face? Because in the gay community, if they put discreet, they're not putting their Probably face. Probably he assumes his wife's not on Tinder. You, she don't have friends? She don't talk to nobody? Everybody has that bitch secluded. <laughs> Mind-blowing. But I'm... yeah, it did show his face. He had like a, a big gun and like a bulletproof vest. Why? I, I, I clearly saw that. Boo. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but like, Tinder, so dating apps in general are unhinged. So unhinged. Honestly, like, please give us tips down below. How how do you meet someone? Like I told her before, do you know what my biggest thing in life? And I'm saying, I'm like, oh, 2024, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I want to be able to just go up to somebody and compliment them. Well, not somebody, because I can go up to girls all day long and be like, yeah. oh my God, I love your bag. Oh my God, I love your hair. Oh my God, I love your makeup. Like mm -hmm. I could do that so naturally. But can I go up to a guy and be like, oh my God, I think you're so handsome. I no. I, bitch, I can't. Yeah, you did it at the Dodger game. No, what did I drink at the Dodger day game, Tim? Well, <laughs> like, but in my regular day-to-day -day life. I and think... she blocked him the next day. She got his number and then blocked him. <laughs> well, I mean, she yeah. said, what was I doing? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. That he was had somebody a nice else. body. He had an ugly face. I don't remember. Well, um, no face, no case. <laughs> Okay, should we jump into the hot topics yeah. now? Oh my gosh, Nada's going off They're on us. Really and girl, who cares? Who cares? Oh my god, my, look. Okay, for those of you, okay, I recently made a video and I already know that it ruffled some feathers, but honestly, like people are just so sensitive these days. And I said that I want a mastectomy. And I was talking about how Rosa, Rosa was like, you mean vasectomy? And I was like, who am I getting pregnant? Who am I? Who, who, ask yourself, if I told you I want a mastectomy and you said vasectomy, ask yourself, who am I getting pregnant? No, I'd be oh, you when your tits reduced. Thank you. Yeah. No, I want them gone. Like, no one understands because they never see them on camera. Look at these. Look at 
Oh, yeah, they're big there, girl. They're massive. For reference, I have yeah. double Ds. Go ahead. Oh, wait, ours are the same size. <laughs> <gasps> that might be bigger. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you, wanna, you need a bra. No one understands. I hate them. So, anyways, so that way you guys know when I say, yes, I want a mastectomy, <laughs> I mean it. Someone sent me money for it. I literally, well, actually, no, I looked into the surgery before, but you're either going to have a really bad scar from your areola or you're going to have one underneath. And I I was like, no, I could lose it eventually if I just stop yeah. eating. Yeah. Not stop drinking. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, just stop eating. <laughs> not me saying last week. I'm like, there's no joy in life. Just alcohol. <laughs> just alcohol. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the hot topics now. Um, okay, so we're going to get lighthearted, but then maybe it might get a little... No, you know what? We're not going to get too in-depth on things, honestly, because I'm too lazy to read full-on articles. We're going to briefly talk about the dark stuff. We don't want to ruffle the comments. We don't want to ruffle the feathers over <laughs> here. Because look, at the end of the day, before we even jump into this, we are not the news source, okay? We are no, not KTLA. We're not TMZ. We, we are not TMZ. We're, we're not Fox 11. We are just two average folks over here Literally, talking about what we, we saw. Got, we got jobs. We got lives. You know what's so crazy too and what bothers this me? This is a hobby. Yes, <laughs> literally. Every single time that I tell people, I'm like... Look, when I'm telling you things, it's just me talking to a friend. This, okay. It's talking to a friend. That's it. PSA, this is just our opinion. This if is, you don't like it, don't watch it. This is literally just... A, if you're not a friend, to click off the video. Yeah, but if you're a friend, you want to hear about our life, our messy stories. Like or just our food. opinions on hot topics. Mm -hmm. I feel like at the end of the day, everyone's entitled to their opinion. And uh -huh. if we see something that's wild on the internet, we don't have to know every single aspect of the story. You and then I mean? my thing is, like, I'm to like... We literally just were talking about something and me and you completely disagreed. And I'm totally okay with you dis us disagreeing and we're still friends. And I feel like in the world today, if you disagree with me, you're my enemy. You're so, and that's such a on, wild can mindset. I, can, uh, so, so funny you say that because before I had said before, I love to disagree with people and people are like, why would you, why would you want to do that? And I said, me disagreeing with somebody is them opening up my eyes to a different viewpoint. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. I think it's great and I think that we should all, I'm we sorry, but when you, when you sit here and you agree with everyone, you become a communist state. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to do, I know I look like Kim Jong-un, but I'm <laughs> Minus the hair. Anyways, the fir the first topic, okay, that we're going to talk about is... I'm going to read this directly. You already know about it. We both sent it to each other. Snoop Dogg had posted... I do have to say, if you guys don't watch my second channel, me and my brother did do his ice cream reviews. Not the one. Not mm -hmm. worth the calories. Not the one. No. But we did say Snoop Dogg should come out with his own weed. He should have his own weed shop, his oh, own he he edibles. Does it. That's mind -blowing. Maybe he does. He has Maybe to have... we're just not informed. Because yeah. I'm not even Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star owns stakes in, in weed companies. Oh. Yeah. So Snoop Dogg has to, but maybe he doesn't have one that's branded with his name. You know what okay. I mean? Anyways, this is what he had posted. Honestly, this was just yesterday. He posted this onto his Instagram and he said, After much consideration and um, conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke. Please respect my privacy at this time. And he has this little picture with him throwing his little hands up there. I have to say, as fellow Long, Long Beachians, <laughs> that's a trip. That's a trip. I can't believe that he's going to, of all people... I know, and then I've seen a lot, like, that people were saying, something's wrong, something's wrong with him, he's sick or something. Maybe he has, right? like, you know... And then I thought that, but then as a former, um, I mean, not that I, I'll smoke once in once in a while now, but as a former... Are you, were you going to say a reformed smoker? Yeah, because I used to smoke every day, I didn't play, but the thing is, like, when you, and I would, I'm no Snoop Dogg, but I would imagine, like, your tolerance is non-existent at that point. Absolutely. It's just not, like, he's smoking how many, like, how much a day? Yeah. Like, the blunt roller said she was rolling more than a pound a day. Like, I feel like your tolerance, you just, and then, and then another thing I thought about is, like, for me, when I would smoke, it wasn't necessarily about smoking for me. It was, like, the, um, the ritual. The action of it. The ritual, well, what like, we say? Getting, what? rolling my blunt. Hold on. Sitting in my backyard. This is us when we're at a bar and we feel awkward. We're like, okay, we're not going to drink too much tonight. So, we always feel like we need something in our hands. So, we'll order, like, a soda water or just a bottle of water mm -hmm. or whatever. We just need something because we feel awkward because mm -hmm. we're so used. So, maybe he's used to that rep re repetition. Yeah. Of, and like, I know I've talk to other people and they're like oh it's not even the smoking it's the ritual for me that they're addicted to because i don't think we, i yeah me and smoke can't yeah ever. you don't smoke but it's like no. weed i think is like it can be addicting in a different way oh, 100. i like Any, I can't, anything I kick it. can be addicted mm -hmm, yeah and Remember for me I, it was like sitting in my backyard doing my getting prepared and then just like scrolling my phone and just being by myself for that yeah. 10 minutes or whatever and that's i feel like that's what i was addicted to more than being high so i'm yeah. like 
I get maybe that's right, but then it's like at a certain point, you're smoking that much, you're tolerant. But he's gone. been he's been smoking that much, for girl, like, since huh? we were like little fucking fetuses. Yes, that's why yeah. I'm like, um, he's so a, that's crazy. Yeah. He's a good ten years older than us. And I'm like, he gonna live to be 140. Watch. Well, who want who wants to live to be 140? I'm ready to I clock see out the AI. now. No, I want to see the AI bots. I want to see him. There's already AI bots. I know, but they're not so. Well, you know, I'd be on Chat GPT. I don't know much about that. You don't? I'm, no, well, I know about it. But no, like, I, don't. I didn't know either until my younger friend put me on. I don't have any I'm, young friends. Yeah, exactly. I'm in school, so I use it. And I'm like, honestly, it's like, it's chat G P T. See, I know that. Gorilla <clears throat> Punani Terranium. And it's so. Terranium is the game? Terranium, like. The, That's cranium. The thing you put, That's well, I'm cranium. like, I thought the thing you put plants in. But. You know, you don't ever see that. No. The little dirt. Does it look like I know about plants? And it's just, and you add, but the that has only been updated since twenty two, like January twenty two. So I that thought can it was only what people that... cheat on their homework with. I cheat on it. I use it to cheat. Her professor. No. Are you listening to her? <laughs> she literally just. Well, you know, but then, but you're like that daughter of that celebrity that went to USC. I forgot Lori, Lori from Full House. Full House. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bob Saget. Yeah. Bob Saget died? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Even John Stamos was on Jimmy Fallon the other day talking about, like, it's so hard. Didn't yeah. he do, like, Girl, Jeopardy he... or Full House? Not Full House. Um, uh, America's Funniest Video? Yeah. I and they did passed not know it to the Will Smith Carlton from Will Smith took over. He died. I knew about Carlton. Oh, my God. You didn't know he died? Not me. I'm all in the celebrity gossip, and I did not know that. Girl, let me see. How long ago did he die? Recent. Oh, okay. No uh, 22, January 22. Oh, okay. At the Ritz Carlton in Florida. Oh. Yeah, girly goo. I get to, I'm sorry. I, like, I always try to say, I'm not trying to get into conspiracy theories, but I'm always so, like, the whole Matthew Perry thing. I told her, look, we briefly talked about this last week. But I have to say that I, it, Matthew Perry's whole thing was so suspicious to me. Was it? Girl, remember I told you with his whole, um, I'm Matt man posting Batman signals. Oh, I and didn't then, see that. <clears throat> so I had to watch this. I never read his book. But somebody said in the last chapter of his book, he said, if I'm ever like crying out for help or if, in need of help, then I'm going to call out for Batman. And then he, before he dies, he's posting all these these signals of Batman in his backyard. And I'm like, I honestly think... And did you ever hear the conspiracy theory about um, Chester? I don't know his, his name, but from Linkin Park. Yes. They said that he was going to make a, a, a tell-all about, like, exposing the higher-ups. Yes. And then he died. Yeah, I heard that one. Yes. That's why I'm like, there's so many conspiracies. And I'm like, sometimes I know people just make things up, obviously, because they want clicks and views. But sometimes I'm like, low-key. Well, that's what we, when we were on the phone earlier. I'm like, the crazy thing is... Like half of the stuff we hear can be completely just batshit crazy, made up, not true. Yeah. But then on the other hand, it could be could 100% be true. Completely true. Yeah. That's the crazy part. I'm sorry, but things are very. It's like you just don't know what to believe these days. Like we were talking about, like okay, let's just go and keep it real, right? Okay. We were talking about Megan Thee Stallion's body. And there's this whole TikTok, and honestly, so many people are hopping on the TikToks and Twitter, too, of saying that she got her body done. And so many people are like, no, she had her body done. And then so many people are saying, no, she worked out. And it's like, this day and age, you just don't know what to believe. Either which way, whether she paid for it. Either which way, give me that body. Either which way. I love love Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion is... Okay. If she had surgery, they did it the most perfect way. Girl, who and if not, then if if she what the did, fuck did get, she eat? if she did get her body done, give me the number of the doctor. She has the best body in all female rappers, dude. Period. Her body is just amazing. But what I'm saying is, this day and age, you genuinely don't know who who's telling a lie, who's telling the truth, who got their body done, who don't. You just wait. Don't it was know. her man, expo- her ex, exposing her, right? No, no, no. Whoa, I barely had seen that while we were oh, sitting okay. down. Oh, okay, that's what we were talking about. Because yeah. I never heard anybody exposing her for that until... TikTok, there was a TikTok of a whole oh, one saying, oh, she was missing for a I'm long period of time TikTok. and she had this. But people always just start things so you just yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, well, but I would be so hot if my ex went on and said I had life. I'd be like, what are you... Like, say something else about He's me. looking for attention. Say something else about He's me, looking please. for attention. Yeah. That's just it. Point blank period, he's looking for attention. Yeah, Anyways, moving on to the next topic here. I don't know if you guys had seen about this, and I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. 
I'm just keeping it real. Go ahead and cancel me. I literally don't care. But the very first time that I saw this, I was like, huh? I didn't get it. But then the more I looked into it, I liked it. I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, on the cover of GQ magazine, Kim Kardashian is man of the year. And honestly, at first I was like, what? Like, why wouldn't a man be on there, right? But then I got the whole thing. The whole point of it saying is, girl, you don't, there, there don't need to be a man. A woman could be a billionaire too. Kim Kardashian has reached billionaire status and she is a, um, not only is she a beauty mogul, she's just a mogul in general and she's a billionaire. She's a boss ass bitch. That's just it, right? And every man is known to be a boss. So they obviously are taking a step here mm. of saying she's the man of the year. Oh, it's I very, get... they're very, they are definitely taking a step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but my whole thing like... that I'm triggered about, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to fight. No, mm -hmm. you don't understand. <laughs> See me in the street and disagree with me. The part where I got triggered, this bitch is over here eating Cheetos. A big family size Costco bag of Cheetos. Do you think Kim Kardashian <laughs> is eating Cheetos? <laughs> Do you think she's, no, for real. Do you no, think she's eating like, Cheetos? No, like clearly that picture is just like a, a vibe. Or yeah, like, oh, I'm a man. Like, I'm wearing a loose suit and I'm wearing a, a big Honestly, old bag of Cheetos. Though, I didn't know that, that they eat put her as my other year and i don't know that i yeah. i mean i'm nobody but i don't know that i like it i think whatever i'm i'm cool for the whole stance you know but I mean, i'm but just you can't deny kim is like the elite female but... i understand the direction that they're going in my whole thing is don't put this bitch with a huge but she knows is the issue for you yes <laughs> she doesn't eat... Yeah. I am ready to go That's to like the bat. That's salary. No, I will Google her address right now and we will take an Uber over there. We can't drive because we've been drinking. But I will literally take an Uber to her house, knock on her door and say, Bitch, Kimberly, are you prove it. Are you eating Cheetos? Let me see your pantry. Prove it. No, I've seen her pantry before. I've seen her pantry before. Chloe's pantry before. She is not eating like Cheetos. like pirate's booty at the, at the worst end. Yes. Oh, yeah. pirate's booty. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> She's not eating Cheetos. She's, especially with Miss Poosh over there. Yeah. Miss, oh, by the way, did you did see? Did they name it? Yes, what? they what? did. What? <gasps> I forgot to screenshot oh my it. Gosh. Hold on, I'll Google it. I'll Google it. I'll Google it. We'll get we'll get down to. <laughs> Is Fort it on your Instagram? I'll Google it. Well, oh you. Oh, I, I lost I lost my train of thought. I okay, forgot what I was we're saying. Okay, we're Cheetos. She doesn't eat them. She doesn't eat no damn Cheetos. Any which way. Oh, I was gonna say with Poosh, Miss Poosh over here, Miss Natural. She's gonna complain about the orange dye. Yeah. No, I, I'm sorry. It's just it's like the vibey picture, but then my whole thing is like, girl, you faking it. Uh-uh, and her sucking on her thumb like that. I'm like, girl, you ain't sucking on that thumb like that. Ask Ray J. I seen the video. <laughs> Have you ever seen the video? Portions? I watched the whole thing. Oh, did you? Like, when I was younger, too, I literally was on LimeWire, all Googling. Jeez no, Louise. Bear Share. Bear Share, I was all Googling it. Bear Share? <laughs> Y'all remember Bear Share? Let us know if you remember Bear Share. I was oh like, gosh. let me Google this. I gotta see the whole thing. And I was like... I told you, that, did I ever tell you a story how one of my exes had a teenage son and that he caught the teenage boy, he was like 12, 13, Googling the Kim Kardashian porn tape? Well, And it, well. this was like fairly recent. I'm like, that's hilarious that she's still Re uh, relevant. And, and Paris Her, Hilton's too. Oh, uh, she, who was she banging? I don't know. Um, I don't think it was anybody, but honestly, I do have to not say. Not Rage's, I hate it, I hate it, like, sir. I do have to tell you, if, I, if I ever got the opportunity to make me a little tape with a celebrity... It would be Ray J? No. Oh. No. I'm saying if I I'm ever like, had, No, I did oh, not say okay, that. I'm okay. saying if I ever had the opportunity to make a tape, I'm going to do it. Oh, ma'am. Do you think Kim Kardashian would be who Kim Kardashian is without that sex tape? No, ma'am. Exactly. No. And even Paris Hilton. I'm like, girl, they blew up after that. They made I, millions do you think, of dollars like, off somebody's that. somebody's like, oh, you can take it back if you want. She'd be like, fuck, why would... Why no, would she always... She says that she will take it back. She always says she... Yeah. Yeah. She has to know that it's going to take... Well, your career is going bye-bye too, girl. And her whole family's career. Yeah. Because where would well, they be without her? Nowhere. Girl. I'm not like a stan or an ally with the Kardashians. I don't think there's... I'm just like... You know what? Not. I do have to say this, though. Honestly, and people fight me on this because everyone's online always saying, oh, they're not talented. Coming from somebody who You're tried... Smart. <laughs> girl, thank you. Coming from somebody who tried to build a business, you cannot call them not talented they know what they're doing whether it be getting their name talked about or getting any hype buzz tv shows businesses 
that's talent. Yeah. That's talent. Like, yeah. it irritates me when people, they're so talentless. I'm like, how are they building this? No. Those? My only issue with them is the whole, like, we don't have plastic surgery. We don't have plastic surgery. Yeah. And then it's like, girl, you're oh, selling this it. false reality to these little girls out here. Like, that's my thing. For a hot minute, at Just first, don't say anything at all. At, for, exactly. Just for don't real. say anything. For a hot minute, people would always say that Kylie didn't have anything done. And I was like... Girl. And Kylie was like, no, I didn't have anything. I and just I have didn't. good selection in men. Come on. <laughs> and I have a full, thick, luscious hairline. <laughs> I mean, girl, come on. With a hairless back. <laughs> okay, if we're telling lies, let's just go ahead and do it. Anyways, on to the next topic. This has nothing to do with pop culture. This has nothing to do with the news. But I just wanted to talk about it. Because it has to be the most ridiculous thing that I have probably ever seen. Okay. Probably ever. Okay, so you know the fashion brand Balenciaga. Mm-hmm. Okay. For the longest period of time, though, I really did, honestly. I worked up... I'm just not... you. Well, you know me. I'm not a... I'm not a, a fashionista. I'm not a name brand person. Yeah. But I have always wanted this specific pair of Balenciagas. The shoes? Not, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Not this... Not the ones that look like socks. But, oh, okay. But the ones that look like socks, but with laces. Okay. Obsessed. I've always mm-hmm. wanted those, and I almost pulled the trigger and, like, bought them in Japan, but I didn't. Japan. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, they came out with a skirt. Skirt. Uh huh. For nine hundred dollars. That I I told her I didn't want to show her this because I was like, no, I want to get your natural reaction. <laughs> nine hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. This is the skirt. It's a towel. That's the pants don't come with it. No. No. This is the skirt. That's it. It's a literal towel. It's, it's a literal it's towel. It's a literal towel. It's like, a literal towel, but the thing is, is that's that not, it's... But it's, the point is that that's not a towel that I dry my body with. That's the one I fucking put on the floor to get out the shower. <laughs> it's a floor mat. What? Yeah. $900. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Oh if you if you had $17 billion... No, I ain't not... buying no damn... I'll buy towels for my body, buying a Balenciaga skirt towel. But would you buy a $900 Balenciaga towel? towel? No. No, I wouldn't. No. I I'd always say that frugal. too. I'm like, I would still be frugal if I was rich. I always say that too. I'm like, I'm sorry, you're not going to no, catch me buying a The only thing I'm going to pay lush. money on is this face right here, baby. What would That's you do it. to your face? Just keep it up. Keep up with the Jones, not like Botox. Like keep it up like as in like turn your Better frown upside down. Turn my frown upside or down. Like, you can't. Uh, maybe there, you can't put a price on that. <laughs> it's not love that I need. It's money, girl. That's what I say too. I hate when people say, "Oh, money can't buy you happiness, bitch." You never met me. I will be Let's happy. Try me. Let me try. Yeah, hold on. Wait. Yeah. Give me your debit card. Do a science experiment on me. <laughs> For real, yeah. Bill Nye, the science guy. Give me your credit bill, card. Bill, bill, bill. <laughs> Pay the bill, bill. <laughs> <laughs> Pay the bill, bill. <laughs> oh, 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 not here trying to spill my mic. Anyways, next topic right here. I'm sorry, but I'm ready to gag already. What is it? She okay. We went out last no two weeks ago, and you know what's crazy? I'm telling you, the older I get, the more like sensitive my body gets. She was like busted over like Tatiana by my car, throwing up, and I almost. <laughs> <laughs> And mind you, I was throwing up In front of seven leaves. And it was just clear because I had no food in my system. It was just clear. I was throwing up. Y'all. Okay. This this makes me almost want to throw up too. What is it? My point is hearing about this, it reminded me of like I almost threw up seeing you throw up and I've never been like that. Okay. Like I've held some people you're related to. I've held their hair back while they throw up on my dashboard. No, you literally literally walked away and I was like, I'm fine. Go ahead. (laughs) I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I was like, I can't do this. Okay, you know good old Patrick Mahomes. This is what it says on the TMZ headline. He wears the same undies every NFL game. I wash them sometimes. And this is what the first paragraph says. Patrick Mahomes has played more than 100 NFL games. And for every single one of them, since his rookie season, the two-time Super Bowl champ has rocked the same lucky pair of underwear, which he occasionally cleans. No. Occasionally. Okay, this is how I feel. Hold on, my question to you is, if you are his wife, and you know his living situation, because you do his laundry maybe occasionally, because you're a housewife. Well, he only lets her wash him sometimes. Okay, but hold on, that's what I'm saying. So, he's like, no, 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 don't wash him. And he comes home from a game, and he's super horny, and he's like, come on, go down on me. Lick this little twig and berries. (laughs) Would you do it? Would you do it? 
Mm, after you showered. Oh, bitch, I would do and that. I'm your there. wife. I'm ready. Girl, I already got the job. No, like, what? Like, okay, so what if you weren't his wife? What if you weren't married yet? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? How much but money? she's married and she has kids. Like, she don't need to prove her point anymore. How much money does he make? Does he make a lot of money? Girl! What's his net worth? Let's see. Any, and, but then, okay, my thing is this. I believe in superstitions. I believe in superstitions, I too. I do. I really do, too. And I love football, but that's so extra. I get it. And then you're going to grow fun. But then, like, like, as soon as I read that, I thought of that smell. That smell of, like, wet clothes and, like... And, and fungi and, and like, sweat and BO. Like, and, especially that a man can produce. And I was like, that's repulsive. Girls can smell like that, too. Or, like, just, like, clothes that you're wearing, especially, like, that material... Because it looks like a Speedo material almost. Oh, no. They put that picture there. as um, She's thinking about the picture from TMZ. They just put that picture there to, like, emphasize underwear. Is it just random? It's not his. You think, you think Is he... Is it cotton? Do you really think that he held up his pair of Tonys for yeah, that? Yeah, I second? do, actually. No, no. <laughs> but it's just, like, that when you're wearing something and it's, like, sweaty. Just... Oh, he's worth $70 million. Okay. And then they won two Super Bowls back to back. Like it's not like he's a shitty player. What team? He's on the team with Kansas Taylor Swift, City. man. Yeah, with Taylor Swift's um, baby daddy. So, bro, I don't know nothing about that. Um, I think it's repulsive. I think it's repulsive. repulsive. But honestly, do you like if that's your little jive? Get your jive in. Okay, do you. you? But if he wanted those extracurricular activities after the game, right mm-hmm. in the car. No, no, no. Even if that's your man? What about if it was the love of your life? No, I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> even if I wanted to. For the nose plug? Yeah, so that's nasty. It has that, that stank to it. I would be mad at you for even wanting me to. Well, some people, y'all. This no, guy, this... no, no, no. I Hold can on. get down with a lot of stuff. And no. stink ain't one of them. No. Okay, I was just about to say, Mm-mm. some. a lot of Mm-mm. people have a stink kink. This guy hit me up on Grinder, and he says, do you go to the gym? And I said, sometimes. <laughs> Hold on, bitch. Hold on. I said, You're all not enough. <laughs> well, I said, clearly. I'm like, but I did say sometimes, and he was like, do you think you can go to the gym, get all sweaty, and let me eat you out? I said, sir, mm-hmm. sir, uh, and mind you at the time I was... For how much? N- mind you at the time I was 300 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You weren't big enough, girl. <laughs> big enough to smell, girl. Well, I mean, everybody can smell a skinny, uh-uh. big, whatever. Uh-uh. Yeah. Anyways, next, uh, let's not talk about the stink kink. I'm sorry, but I'll throw up. I, I feel like I would, I, and honestly, as I get older, I, I have less tolerance for smells and seeing things, people throwing up, seeing nasty stuff. I have less tolerance. As yeah, I get and I'm not trying to. Uh, what is? What do they say? Yuck I'm not, somebody's yuck young. Somebody's yum. I'm not who's I'm yum not... is some some sweaty ass, soggy ass bodily fluids. No, ma'am. Uh, I'm just like, just be cl- like, you ain't even gotta be fresh out the shower. Just be cool. Just be cool. You know what my problem is? Is I'm so paranoid that even even when I was with my ex for how many years, I still am just so paranoid that I'm like, oh, we're about to get on. Let me let me freshen up. Like I yeah, just my, I, that's always been in my head. I wonder if anybody else was that way, but I'm always worried. Like, well, my dad uh, did tell me one time it was a little. He told you you stink. No, you. <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah. god. No. That I... one time in Vegas, he was like, hey, <laughs> tell your friend next time to freshen up. I feel like I would be like, and it's normal. It's it's like, you know, it's you're walking around all day and stuff. But 100%. I feel like if you know that something's about to go down, you better take that minute to get ready. That's my thing. Because I, I just feel like I want to be like, right. I don't want to know. Because it's hard, especially in the act of the heat of the moment. It's hard to stay focused because you're thinking about something. Especially if it's not a regular partner. You think about so many other things, like what are they? What is their viewpoint? What do they see? What do they smell? Me, well, it's always roses. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I bitch is delusional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's okay. She's gonna be fifty one fifty after this episode. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna be in any more videos. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. They're gonna come with her straight jacket right now but to I, take her to Holly. I Bell. will be getting nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we getting nachos? <laughs> are we post mating nachos? Do you have a free delivery code? <laughs> I love how everybody on like social media I'll be seeing them like, oh, let's order some postmates, let's order some DoorDash. I'm like, you're rich. You're literally no, rich. I'm sorry. I have to be in a like 
I have to be in like desperate need for food. I will shit knock on my, on my neighbor's door mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, can you drive me to Taco <laughs> Bell?" No. Like, come on. I don't pay those prices. It, it's. I look at my orders and I have orders from like six months. Each order is like six months in between because I don't do that shit. Well, I only do it when there's free shipping. I'm like, I ain't paying no damn shipping. No, I don't. So every now and then I'll get a notification. You got free shipping for three orders. I said, like, order. And then, because in addition to the fee, they boost up the prices they of the food. They do boost up. They, and like, I'm like, three dollars. By three dollars. Honestly, at this point, I'll walk to get the food if I can't drive. I'll Amen. just walk. <laughs> Ride a bike. I'll walk. I'll call a friend. Phone a friend. Phone an ex. Like, no. No. Oh, why was I trying to do the phone a friend who wants to be a millionaire? I'm not paying. I'm not paying these fees. Yeah. For this dirty ass food. Anyways, let's let's move on to the next topic right here. Sharon Osbourne. Okay, I'm. A, you know what? I'm gonna just read it. Okay, I'm okay. gonna read the full thing. Yeah. Because the headline had said that she got to a point with Ozzy Osbourne of if you're gonna go do your thing, just use a condom. Okay. So I'm gonna read just this little brief article. Okay. So this is what it says right here on TMZ. Sharon Osbourne is recalling how she navigated her husband Ozzy's fame and his groupies in the early days of their marriage in an interview with daily mail she uh, or published on friday the television personality who has been married to the black sabbath singer since 1982 revealed why she turned a blind eye to ozzy's frenzied fans but shared where she drew the line and this is a quote by the way i was so used to it because that was the world i knew that's uh, what comes along with being famous it was always there said sharon 71 especially if somebody in uh, is insecure or a narcissist that wants it all as he was, I was always like, wear a condom and never ask names or addresses you don't want to know. What do you feel about that? Wait, are they still together now? They took a bit of a break because he did cheat on her. Like, well, he cheated on her throughout the years, apparently. But he hooked up with a hairdresser. I don't know if it was her dresser, her hairdresser, or Kelly old Osborne. And, like, so old well, she's 71. Like, how are you cheating? Imagine you cheated on at 71. Like... Well, she's 71 now. Okay. But when she got cheated on recently... But did she come out recently? Yeah, this this was on... This was today. I wonder why. I sent you the screenshot as soon as... No, I seen that she said that, but I'm just like... But she said when... This was in the 80s when she was like, just wear a condom. But, uh, cause you said, like, about her getting cheated on, um, there was a whole big old thing that even Kelly Osbourne had, like, popped off on him too, because he hooked up with a hairdresser. I don't know who the hairdresser was, it could have been Kelly's, Sharon's, or his, cause they all got hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, how do you feel about that? Like, would you be, would you be, okay, you knew your man's a rock star, especially Black Sabbath during the 80s? Oh my and god. And wasn't this... F- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know my mom literally said she would see him in concert and he would bite rats' heads off. No, he, he one time he bit a bat's head off, but it was supposed to be a prop. Where was Peter? <laughs> what the hell? Peter wasn't born yet. <laughs> Peter was not born. Um, Do I don't know if personally what 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 <laughs> what what. <laughs> <laughs> me and my brother were driving today oh, okay God. so i think i told you guys this story i'm sorry can you hold that thought <laughs> i can <laughs> peter <seems> re- good <laughs> peter, peter reminded me of of peter parker peter parker mm-hmm. and people would always call him peter parker peter so it reminded Kim me got of- <laughs> yeah, literally so we went to go see uh post malone right and we were trapped in this parking for so long so I had called. She was like dozing off in the back seat. But okay. Mm-hmm. I literally, I was like, I told my brother, I'm like, okay, look, we're gonna get you a ticket. You're gonna drive us. You're gonna be our DD, literally. And it was all the way in San Bernardino. So while we were trapped there in the parking, if you guys have ever been to the Glen Halen Amphitheater, you guys would know it, it took us two and a half hours to get out of there, right? <laughs> so I called the venue and I called the local police station. <laughs> While we're stuck in traffic because nothing's moving. <laughs> we couldn't move. So, my brother today, because we saw a big old Larry H. Parker sign. <laughs> didn't you say that you were going to call Larry <laughs> no, H. Parker? No, not I didn't. I left it on voicemail. I called the venue. <laughs> <laughs> said that you're calling Larry H. Parker. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> That's not what I said. Me and my brother lost our minds and I legit dribbled pee in my pants because I laughed so hard. Because y'all, you have to imagine me and her were drinking. We drank like half a bottle of vodka. We drank a whole 12 pack of Happy Dads and we're screaming to Post Malone like living our best life. Mm -hmm. The and endorphins are high. The alcohol is high. Everything, everything, right? The sleep is high. Yes, literally, right? Mm -hmm. So my brother was the only one in his right state of mind. Mm -hmm. So I had called, so I called the local police station. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to call 911. So I called the local police station to say this has to be a fire hazard like let us out of here you know they didn't answer so i called the glen halen amphitheater and i was like i'm trapped here i'm trapped here and i can't get out you guys have trapped us here in this situation and i'm here with my lawyer i have my lawyer on the other line his name is larry h parker that's parker as in p-a-r and i couldn't remember how to spell parker so i said cur <laughs> So when we saw the sign, my brother was like, that's Parker, as in P-A-R, Kerr. <laughs> oh my oh, god, I'm sorry. Hilarious. So Peter Parker had reminded me of that from like Spider-Man. But Peter I was like, Spider and my brother had said it, and I was like, why does that sound familiar? And yeah. he started he started, he started, started laughing so hard that he literally started crying. Really? He's like, you don't remember that? And I was like, no, it sounds familiar, but I don't. <laughs> You don't he's, remember? He's like, you called the Glenn Halian Theater is saying that you have where your concert, lawyer with the you? The venue where the concert was held. Okay? To say that I have my lawyer, Larry H. Parker. That's Kerr. P A R Kerr. Kerr. And he's like, because you didn't know if it was with a C or a K. <laughs> or a C K. <laughs> or a C K. <laughs> <laughs> but I did click end after that. Oh, that's funny. I literally, I took screenshots, though, of me calling them. The I, next day you told me, because I, I knocked out immediately. Immediately. Okay, okay sorry. Anyways, you said rem uh, you're going to remember the thought about PETA. <laughs> oh, about him biting bats heads off. But yeah. no. It was just but one I time. I don't think, what, me? I don't know as me. I know who I am. I don't know if I could hang with that, but I've also never had all that money in my face. But I mean... The lifestyle. She's never bothered me. I think she was I like always. Her. Yeah, so I'm like, if that's your choice and that's your husband and you live together and you know he's doing shebang, put a condom on. Yeah. Bye. She said what she said, and that's just. But then I just, I'm only confused. Like, why is she? Who? Why is she on a Daily Mail about it now? Yeah. Well, she did an interview. Oh. Anyways, but then I highly doubt that Ozzy Osbourne cares. He probably so. Doesn't yeah, know, he's funny. like, Girl. but I think she's so. I th I like her. I like her too. Unless she did something that she should be canceled for. Forgive me. Every single person has done something they should be canceled for. That's all my girls canceled talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like, girl, bye. Yeah. We're going whatever. Anyways, we're gonna briefly talk about the briefly talk about these next two topics because we only got a little bit of time left. Okay. Literally. So Cassie and Diddy, okay. This, to me, honestly, at first, I was like, whoa, this is a trip. So, if you guys did not see um, Cassie, you know, it's you and me. Yeah. How does that song go? Oh, you know I don't listen to that bullshit. <laughs> that was our song, Been like, in waiting. middle school. Think I want to make that move, move now. now. Yeah, anyway, so Cassie. Tell me she, that you like it. Yes. Oh, not her saying she don't listen to that shit, and she over here knows more lyrics than I do. Okay. She's fake. She lost her virginity to that song, Don't Play. Actually, I did have a homegirl in middle school who lost her virginity next to the damn Coca-Cola machine. You went to the mill, too? Yes. Next to the Coca-Cola machine, right? Uh, right. By the gym entrance. Mr. Scrumbus, right outside of Mr. Scr Do you Did you have Mr. Scrumbus? Yes. Did you know that he spit in my face? Yes. And I marched immediately to the principal's office, and my parents had to come down like and everything. Like, spit, spit? No, because when he was screaming at me so oh, loud. He called okay, me, no, because he called me fat. He said, you're fat. Yeah, I'm tired of you being fat and spit in my face and i told him i He's said you just he was oh i hate him mr scrumbus honestly hot take hate him. he's the type to like his yeah, wife <laughs> yeah no one no so when i told him that he had spit on me he did it aggressively even more and that's when i marched away to the principal's office what my did, parents had to come down do? to there well my mom sat in the car and my dad went in to handle the situation and, what and they got me out of his class and i had mr Kasem. i love mr Kasem. You, you never i know he's cool yeah. you never had miss carlson the, the no, I'm anti-LGBT. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Miss Carlson was a lesbian, for those of you guys who didn't know. She would make us exercise, though. I'm like, God, bitch. Mr. Kasem, honestly, was so like cool. like in seventh grade. Bitch, leave us Run, alone. you mungos. Yeah, I'm like, girl. Well, I don't, don't want to run nothing. I'm about period. Leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, what am I talking about? <laughs> Um, How did I get to Mr. Scrum, bitch? Cassie. Oh, Cassie. Okay, because that song she had told me. Spit. I already had no I was gay because I was like, girl, wait. She, okay, do you remember during this time, the big old boost 750 Ally? 
everyone would play their music on their phone. Yeah, I got yeah, the yeah. Boost mobile phone. Yeah. And it would blast music. Mm-hmm. And she literally said that she put that song on her phone. She got it from LimeWire. And then she... Never mind. That has nothing to do with the story. Yeah, I was, <laughs> like, was what? I'm literally sitting like, wait, what are you talking about? Like, I'm trying to keep up here. <laughs> no, it was just... I'm sorry, but I was thinking to myself. I was like, she lost her virginity at like 13 years old. And I didn't lose mine until oh, I was friend? 18. Oh, your Yes. That's insane. I and I didn't like lose a... it until I was 18. I lost mine at 15. Oh, see, I was a late bloomer. Well, it took me a while to lose weight to be able to find what I was working with, so. Well, I was in love, and I was about to get married, girl. Come on. That was you last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, y'all, if you guys did not see this, Cassie had filed a lawsuit against Diddy. And honestly, we were going to talk about this at first and be like, look, we don't know no details, so we're going to just, you know, not talk about it because things are going to play out in court. Well, literally, like, what, three hours ago? Four mm-hmm. hours ago? Mm-hmm. Cassie and Diddy said that they were going to be settling outside of court amicably. And I'm just going to go on a limb here and say that he is guilty. She has, <laughs> he's not going to settle outside of court. He is, he's, I Googled his net worth. He's worth $900 million. He's not going to settle out of court and just pay her and let it go. So she put out a statement. He put out a statement that they're both settling outside of court amicably. And I'm like, no, she has some evidence on him. Okay. Mm-hmm. And honestly, what that evidence is. Don't know, but I want to know. Yeah, can we can we get that? Yeah. Run me the tape because honestly, for him to be like paying outside of court, I'm like, oh, he's guilty. Like he would have done jail time. Like he literally. But this just shows you that if you have money, you can do anything you want. Yeah, because that's what you're talking about. Because honestly, I can't say I'm surprised if he was like a woman beater or like, you know, sexualized her and all X, Y, and Z. I'm can't say I'm surprised. But as far as like what we were talking about, it's like, and what happens? Okay, so they settled out of court. And now what? She got paid. It's done. But yeah. It's done. Everyone was Diddy's commenting. Done. Everyone was commenting on TMZ saying, "Wait, so that's just it? He said it out of court, so he's not gonna do mm-hmm. no time." And like now, it's like okay, maybe certain people have their like resistance to get Diddy. What? But he don't make no music, girl. What they like? He's, he's still gonna Ciroc. make money in his in his, in his ventures. Like, yes. What is there to boycott? Like, girl, no. I don't know. But it's just true because it's like now what? Like if that was a regular man, we'd be like, oh no, yeah, no. But he's but rich. It's this when it's you're like, rich, when you're rich, you get away with. He everything. paid her out, so all everything's done. It's like, but sir, if you were doing all these horrible things, I do have to say, and I'm just keeping it real. I know I'm gonna get canceled for this. This is a hot take. I already know it's a hot take. But the thing is, is if I went through something horrible and I had video proof and evidence and text messages and all these things. And if I was going to take a person to court, not even necessarily sue them, but then that person offered me $50 million, am I really going to go through court with it and lose out on that money? Honestly, I have to keep it real, like, especially coming from somebody who's broke, and I'm just going on a limb here and saying Cassie's broke too because she hasn't done nothing in how many years, do you know what I mean? Like, girl, if somebody, if if Diddy went up to her and say, hey, let, let's go ahead and squash this right here for 50 mil. I'm gonna take the money. Yeah, I and I understand. I'm that. not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's no, right. Yeah. But at the but same then, time, when you have that amount of cash, if she had the the viewpoint of like, oh, I'm a I'm gonna be a voice for all these women that are battered and that went through this. I don't know if she necessarily had that though. I feel like she her lawyer said that she was having a voice for women who go through this. Um, and then I feel like okay, if you're that's cool, but I guess like if you go, you have evidence and you can't take his ass down in court, but then you settle. It's like. Was your motive really like I'm um, gonna be a voice for these women? It's just hard though. Like, well, when girl, you, when I ain't you... saying I wouldn't have took the money. Of course. Well, would you take the money? But I wouldn't have said I'm being like the rights for the women. I would have been like, this but was before, trash. Be, before you knew that he was gonna offer a fat paycheck, no, would yeah. you? You know what I mean? Yeah, and then it's like, tell me, even if you were like, nah, for real, I'm taking him down because he's a horrible person. But then as soon as he said, and you're like, oh, you want to double it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but then at that she point, she was suing like, for thirty million, and what if he said, let me give you sixty but then, million? Uh, him alone, uh, settling a day after, like a day you're after, showing you're showing you're you're telling us it. everything. He without did telling it. He us. did it. He did it. So he it's did like, it. You know, half of society formed an opinion against you already. So she with she got his, her way a little bit. With his amount of money, he has the access to the best lawyers in the world. Mm-hmm. He could have won the That's, case. Yes. But she has strong... Something that nobody can fight. Yep. Like, yep, yep, something yep. that nobody can fight. Yep. No, that's true. That's true. Anyways, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm literally... Honestly, y'all, we're ghetto over here. Mm-hmm. Look, other podcasts, they be having, like, a little, you know, a little co-host. I'm literally over here. 
hearing you over there. <laughs> it's like my just my side broke off. No, no, I'm looking over to see how much time we have left. I'm sorry, this is the ghetto podcast right here, but we, we got 29 minutes. We got 29 minutes. To so get okay, this is our last last topic. Honestly, you know what's so crazy is like normally people on a podcast because I watch podcasts all day long, they'll be like, how much time we have left, and normally or they'll have a person there and be like, hey, you have 29 minutes. It's left behind, you know, you catch a little drift, and I'm like over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like this, excuse me. <laughs> I'm all- <laughs> Y'all, this is the real shit, right? Here. This is the real podcast. I don't care, it's whatever. It is what it is. It Anyways, the very last topic on the list right here. Now, this to me, y'all, I don't really have an opinion about it, if I'm being honest with you. Now, Will Smith, <laughs> his uh, former assistant had came out on a little podcast and had said, he walked in on Will Smith taking it from behind, okay? That his co-star, um, Dwayne something or another, I forgot his name. I don't know who he is, is honestly. Dwayne? I forgot his name. Not, you we were about just, to say Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? We no. We just talked about it. He was on that show with Tisha Campbell. I forgot what the heck. It was like on UPN or something. Bull. I only know Tisha Campbell from uh, My Wife and Kids. That's the only one I know her from. I think that's what the show was. No. Okay. No, because there was no grown man on there besides um, the Wayne's brother. So, any which way, y'all, <clears throat> he alleges that he had walked in on Will Smith, taking it from behind. So, apparently, they were on set for a movie. And he was like, oh, they're calling him Dwayne to Martin. set. Dwayne Martin. They were calling him to set. And apparently, Dwayne Martin was giving it to him in the booty from behind. Um, I do have to say this, though. I feel like this, I don't know why this is so shocking to so many people, is I just have to say, maybe you've been living underneath a rock. There has been so many allegations against Will Smith being gay. Girl, he done been all over Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I just Googling it now, and I'm like, that's crazy. Oh, maybe they were on there. Any which way, look, that was the hot topic of the week right there, and I do have to say, I don't really have an opinion about it, because if I'm being honest with you... Look, he was a big celebrity back then. He's a big celebrity now. And honestly, if he's taking it from behind, it's not going to shock me. But my opinion is, what was the point of the person going to announce it on a freaking podcast? Like To be messy. To be messy. To be messy. He didn't get paid. Well, maybe he did. I guess so, but it's just messy. Maybe he did, but honestly, I'm at the same time, like, well, that's, that's that's bad karma. Him and Jada have have an open relationship, so that's bad karma to be putting people's business out there like that. Why would you honestly though, if you walked in on your friend or your, your former assistant taking it from behind, like why would you? This is why I don't trust nobody. This is why I got no friends. No, that's just supposed to be you know celebrities and their assistants are supposed to be like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's messy. I don't really have an opinion on it though because I'm gonna be honest with you. If he comes out tomorrow as gay, I'm not. Oh, gonna that's be shocked. yeah. I don't give a shit who what he was doing as long as you ain't bothering nobody. But yeah, my whole thing is like, why would you come out and just go be messy and spread that information? Well, you know what? Will so Smith scared. was spreading his cheeks, so he was spreading mm-hmm. his mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "You ain't gonna give me a raise, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that is it for this week's episode of The Sip and Spill. <laughs> Why am I literally sweating? It's like 60 degrees and I'm literally sweating from all these drinks. Honestly, I'm sweating. My boobs are sweating right now. I just washed this shirt and I cracked my rib in this shirt. And <laughs> this is your biggest shirt. <laughs> I literally fell in this shirt and cracked my rib. If you want the video, let me know. We'll no, no. I, you got to call Fremont to get that video. <laughs> I, you you, have, you the video have the of me of on the you, floor like, already. On the ground and getting up. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, y'all, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We will be coming out with our own channel pretty soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We will have it. We'll talk about it, okay? Give this video a big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.